here's my review of Infamous for the PS3. Now I've had this game now for a couple weeks. I actually got it the day it came out. Uh, beat it on good on the good side. Hero. I'm running through it now on bad. Now the premise of this game really is you play as this guy named Cole. Uh, I'm not going to spoil too much for you guys, so basically uh, you're in a city called Empire City. The city itself has turned to ruins after Cole was asked to deliver a package which he didn't know what contained uh, inside. Uh, once the, While he was delivering the package, the uh, package exploded causing this huge electric current wave that infected the city, destroyed most of the city, and he inherited these powers. Uh, as you go along, uh, you go along unlocking new powers by collecting uh, glass, some shards, excuse me, shards from the explosion around the whole city. Uh, there's numerous explosions, new, numerous shards, excuse me, and tons of replay value in the game. Um, it's tons to do. I p took me about 20, I must say about 20 hours of first run through on Hero, uh, and that's collecting everything. Uh, collecting shards, collect, doing all the side missions, and I mean it's a really lengthy game and it has a great story to it surprisingly um, here I'm pretty far into the game here on evil uh, so I've unlocked quite a few powers um, you choose which way you want to go based on uh, some missions the missions themselves uh, have numerous repercussions as far as good or evil some of them are more blatant than others some of them will actually tell you you should choose to do this choose to do that and it's very clear which one is good and bad uh, some are not that not that obvious like the side missions mostly don't have those uh, clear and cut answers so really what you do is you play through the mission depending on how many civilians you injure uh, how many civilians you save you get good rep or bad rep you see in the top left corner of the screen you have a meter that's your good and bad meter or your karma meter however you want to call it uh, as you see right now, I'm on more towards the red side, towards evil. I'm on outlaw, uh, and that progresses as you either do good deeds or bad deeds throughout the game. Uh, and as I'm, I'm talking through the review, guys, you guys can see some of the gameplay elements. I mean, everything's interactive. You can climb and touch anything in the game. He has shockwave powers that you can, you know, slam down. He has his electric, his regular electric blast, which really ha it's unlimited use. You don't run out of this specific. Uh, power, it's your basic power to shock things, you can go up to civilians, you can blast them away, kind of like a force push, kind of throws them up, uh, has a great graphics, I mean I love the, the gameplay and the graphics of this game, everything's interactive, you can climb and scale anything you see, you see a, you see a building, you want to climb it, you just jump on, you wait to grab a ledge or a pipe somewhere, and there you go, you can look up, start scaling everything. I mean, it's a very interactive game. Everything's very fluid. He moves so naturally through the environments. You know, he rolls. Uh, you start unlocking a lot of the powers as you go along. Like I said, collecting shards. Uh, really, the shards really just give you XP. Uh, really, the main powers that you unlock, you get them by completing some of the main story missions. There's particularly one main story mission uh, every once in a while that'll give you... Uh, the ability to re regenerate a whole city's power and that'll give you one uh, new power every time you do that so I don't want to spoil too much for you guys but I mean I'll show you a couple of the powers here uh, the difference in powers between good and bad are very similar uh, when you're good the powers are more about precision everything's on point as far as accuracy and I mean everything's they don't vary too much whereas you're bad it's more not so much about accuracy but about coverage whereas if I'm bad and I throw these little grenades, it'll spread amongst four or five, as you saw. They spread them, they spread out. If I was good, it would be one single grenade that's way more powerful than five of my various grenades on the bad side. Uh, I'm being chased right now by a group of thugs. I'm gonna try to take them out real quick so I can continue on. He has a lot of powers at his disposal. He can stick them to the enemies. He can create havoc by destroying a, a whole gas station, and it really does just cripple.
And, I mean, as you see, he moves very fluid throughout the city. The bad guys, uh, I mean, they give you a good challenge. I'm playing it on the hardest setting, actually, from the beginning. And it was a good challenge. I mean, I found myself having to restart a couple times. Um, but for the most part, I mean, it's a challenging game. It's going to give you a good, uh, if you're a casual gamer, you might want to start on medium. But if you're a pretty hardcore gamer, you want to go ahead and start off on hard. Uh, some of the other elements of the game. Uh, I'm not going to go into the story because I don't want to ruin it again for you guys. Uh, let's go into the menu since so you guys can give a good idea how this works. As you complete missions and side missions, you earn XP. These XP's can be uh, used to unlock powers. As you can see here, uh, you have various abilities with XP costs. And you have your good side on the left, and on the right side you have the bad variation. Uh, each one tells you at the bottom what it upgrades. For instance, the uh, shockwave that I have. Uh, I've purchased the first two levels, the last one requiring me to be at the highest evil ranking, which is called Infamous. Uh, with that, I mean, it will show that the cars hit by my blast get electrified, causing them to explode, whereas now they really just don't. They just increase the blast range. So there's a lot of upgrades for each individual uh, power, and I mean, most of the powers themselves, once upgraded to the max, that just lets you run around just creating havoc. I mean, you're really almost untouchable. Um, I do have an exclusive power, actually, that was unlocked by uh, pre-ordering at GameStop. They're called Gigawatt Blades, which... Let me see if I can show you guys. Let me charge up. Uh, oh, that's the main element I forgot to explain. Uh, electricity is your main source of power. As you can see on the top left corner, I have that bar that stretches across. Right now it's empty. So if I need to refuel my energy, you click down the left thumbstick, and you can see on the map on the bottom, blue things will highlight. I don't know if you guys can see that good, but you'll get little electric signals. That shows you source of power throughout the city you can use. Anything's interactive. This car right next to me, if I click my left thumbstick down, see how it glows with electricity I slam down my left thumbstick and I absorb a globe see a little bar up there just filled up so I can go around absorbing energy from all these cars to charge up my powers or to charge up my abilities uh, I can run up to anything and now that I'm fully powered up I can throw my gigawatt blades I was talking about but he's turning my hands into blades of electricity and it's a one knockout kill here I'll just take out these thugs real quick here. So you guys can get a good idea how fun this game is. And I'm going to take one of these guys out with a, a thunder blast from above. You guys can see how cool this move is. So here I am. All the way up, I'm going to give him a good blast. Boom. I just took him out. Well, for the most part, a couple of them. So if you're running low on health, you're gonna want. If you're getting your screens turning gray, that means you're running low on health. You're gonna want to run over to the nearest electricity source, try to absorb that to recharge. You'll find yourself a lot of times getting into fights where you're not winning, <laughs> and you're just gonna have to make a run for it. In this situation, uh, it happens very commonly, especially if you're playing on hard. Um, so I mean, I went ahead and ran through most of the features of the game, a lot of the powers that you guys will go ahead and see as you play along through the game. Uh, the game doesn't feature any online modes, which is, it's alright, I mean it has a lot of replay value, so that's really what matters. Um, if I would have to say, uh, this game got some pretty high reviews on all websites, I'd, I'd probably give it a 9.4 out of 10. It's, I already got my money's worth out of it, I got my 20 to 25 hours so far out of it. I'm half, about a third of the way into the game now on EVIL. Uh, so out of total replay, and total play time so far, I've probably put a good 30 hours into the game. Um, so I'd definitely say jump on it. It's a great game. Probably one of my favorites right now on PS3. Uh, right up there with Killzone 2. Uh, so go ahead, if you're on the fence about it, 9.4 out of 10 is my review. Uh, so go ahead and check it out. Uh, and again guys, thank you for subscribing. I have more reviews to come. You know, I have all the consoles, so I got plenty of games. And I'll go ahead and rate, subscribe, and comment. And check me out on the Twitter as usual, DannyAR10. Thanks a lot, guys.